It's not every day you get a royal visit whilst on operations. Those currently deployed to Bahrain, however, had exactly that. His Royal Highness Prince Edward spent several hours talking to those on Operation Kippian, the UK's effort to maintain peace and stability in the Gulf. It's also a great chance for him to see the wider UK Armed Forces footprint here in Bahrain. And we've got representatives from, from all three services in the civil service uh, all working uh, to protect UK national interest and engage with partners here in Bahrain. So the Royal Fleet Auxiliary gives us a great operational flexibility uh, to support our ships with fuel, logistics, amphibious capabilities, uh, specialist engineering logistics support around the world. Uh, and their unique manning structure and crewing structure gives us a, a really high level of availability throughout. The Duke of Edinburgh spent time on board RFA ship Cardigan Bay and one of three mine hunters based here, HMS Middleton. They were really, uh, obviously really excited to be able to come and see him after three weeks of hard work on operations. So really pleased to greet him on board and show him what they do, and show him their ship. It's a chance to come on board an operational RFA uh, and see what we do, meet and greet the people on board. And that gives them a, an encouragement, a, a sense of, yeah, you know, people paying attention all the way up to the royal family. Uh, and that's good for the, the people on board. She was purposely designed to be a landing ship dock auxiliary, so that's to embark troops. That was her primary role, uh, to carry marines and troops around. Uh, we could carry up to 150 vehicles, 24 main battle tanks, accommodation board for 360 troops. Uh, so that was the idea behind. But that's a very flexible role we can do. The Royal Fleet Auxiliary, known as the RFA, is the civilian support branch of the Royal Navy. It's an exciting time for the organisation, with three new ships in the pipeline within the next decade. As Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, morale is high following the Duke of Edinburgh's visit to RFA Cardigan Bay, where he spoke to the ship's company, who are currently on deployment here in Bahrain. I saw him on the Argus a few years ago, and it was good to see him coming down the rounds again, and seeing people and obviously meeting new faces within the RFA, and gives them, gives them something as well, that seeing that people come around and see us and respect what the RFA do as, as a unit because we're not we're re recognised as much as the Royal Navy as such but we are an entity that is here to stay. Yeah, it was very, 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 very chatty, yeah. I said the bit that chuckled me when he mentioned about the uh, Osprey scorching the, the grass down at uh, Windsor Castle because he asked how our deck if it was scorched at all and that yeah, chuckled me a bit. <laughs> <laughs> The command element of Opkipian comes from the UK's naval support facility. The royal visit concluded there with a ceremony where His Royal Highness presented selected personnel with long service good conduct medals. Sophie Kakianis, Forces News, Bahrain. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.